Had to be done. Had to be done. Let's give it a try. Okay, so some people say Christmas is the most magical time of the year, but for me as a vegan, the most magical time of the year has got to be Veganuary, because you get a whole load of goodies when companies try and bring out vegan alternatives to their popular menu items to entice people into their shops and to celebrate the growing, growing trend of vegan meals. And today I'm trying what has been popularized as possibly the most tasty vegan junk food option available, which has been very popular once it's released in America. And it is of course the Zero Chicken Burger from KFC. So I've heard a lot of good things about this. I haven't eaten a KFC chicken burger in possibly about 15 years, but it looks authentic, doesn't it? It smells like a KFC. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but. Lettuce and vegan mayo. Tastes nice. Nice, it's good. Made with corn. And corn is annoying in some ways because they can clearly make corn vegan, but the majority of the corn that you get in shops is just vegetarian, so it still contains egg. But this is nice. I hope they keep this after after veganuary because this will be certainly a another be another place that I can turn to if I'm ever in need for, for some vegan junk food. So a few things to quickly say. So I'm going to be talking to Plant Based Ben, the vegan athlete who's basically tra in his 40s transformed himself from a fairly average looking vegetarian to a super ripped, super healthy vegan. And he's really, not only is it, is it an inspiring story, but it's also really, he's got a lot of thoughts on many other issues to do with ethical consumerism and that kind of thing. And one of the questions I wanted to ask him when I speak to him for the first time for the podcast is, should we be supporting places which make predominantly make their living through the death and exploitation of animals just because they bring out a vegan burger? So I'm talking like your Burger King bringing out the Impossible Whopper and, you know, Pizza Hut bringing out alternatives, you know, vegan pizzas. I guess if you're going that hardcore you'd say well would you still shop at Tesco's to buy your sort of oat milk because next to it is thousands of litres of cow milk I don't know I guess you can see where I stand on this I think any meal that you buy that doesn't contain an animal product is a win for the animal but on the whole we should really these should be a treat this should be like a, an occasional treat from wherever you buy it from because really we should be transitioning to the optimal diet for health and happiness which is a whole food plant-based diet but as an occasional one-off treat this certainly is delicious mm, that is a tasty burger so see you next time see what else i can snuffle out for the vegan junk food addicts see you next time